Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols. I'm here to bring you Nichols Worth, and today from Crossway we have the ESV Journaling Study Bible in the natural leather cowhide with the rough cut look. These things are really slick. It'll probably remind you if you've seen the interleaved edition, which was released a few years ago, in that same kind of natural leather. The colors are slightly different, but the style is the same. Kind of gives me Indiana Jones vibes when I'm looking at it, but when you open the flap, you'll see that it's got this liner, and you're going to notice this has a similar liner. And this has a seven and a half point font, double column, notes on the bottom, and then every other page is blank. So you can see I've taken some notes here to kind of use that. It holds up really well to writing. Uh, not a lot of bleed through on this. This is a great addition. But let's look at the one that we're featuring today, and that is the ESV study Bible. Now this is the ESV student study Bible. So this doesn't have the full everything. It's just kind of got a little bit of a more concise version. And one thing about this that I was a little bit disappointed in is the paper. The paper is pretty thin. If I remember right, it's a low 30s GSM. And it just seems a little thin for writing, but it does have some really nice features that we're gonna take a look at. First of all, this rough cut cowhide, it has, as I said, that same, I don't know what this liner is. It feels like a really thick vinyl and it's kind of felty, but it's, it's really, really nice. But once you get into the journaling study Bible itself, you're gonna see that it has like your preference to the ESV, but it also has some features that you see in the regular study Bible, an overview of the Bible. It also has some short introductory material leading into the Old Testament has some charts and dates and different things. It also has an introduction to the book of Genesis. So it's not as thorough as your ESV study Bible is going to be, but if it was, then this thing would be a monster. It does have two inch ruled margins on both sides. So you're going to have a lot of space for margin. This is a double column. The notes are on the bottom. The references are on the bottom corner of the commentary. The commentary font is really, really small. In fact, that's one of the downfalls of this Bible is this is a 7.5 font. So that's going to be a little bit small for some people. But what you can't have is you can't have a Bible that is manageable with wide margins and the commentary and all the extras that you would expect. This is not a full color, but it does include maps and outlines and various things of each translation. And it's, it's pretty thorough for what it is. So once you get into some of the other features, there's some things that you'll notice. It has brown accents on the chapter numbers, also brown accents on the verse markers to tell you where you are in the Bible, and then brown accents on your page numbers. So now let's get to some things that are between the Testaments just to kind of show you what it has once you get to the end of Malachi. So it's gonna have a theology and timeline of the New Testament, and that's pretty much it. It's gonna lead you into the Gospel of Matthew. This is a black letter edition, as is most ESVs. The only ESVs I've seen that are red letter is the Allen ESV one, and also the wide margin that they put out. I'm sure there are others. Those are the only two that I've seen with my own eyes. Again, maps, this is not full color. And really, if you're used to the ESV Study Bible, I'll link my review to the ESV Study Bible in the video description. I'll also link the review to the men's Study Bible, which is kind of similar to this in the fact that it's more concise. So this is not going to contain all the commentary. It's not going to contain all the articles and all the extras. It's going to be just enough to kind of get you by in a pinch. So once you get past the book of Revelation, once you're toward the end of the Bible, it's going to give you some other articles. Importance of the church for growing in Christ, the authority and reliability of the Bible, how to read and understand the Bible. You can see these are really short articles. How to apply the Bible in daily life, the doctrine of the scripture, like a little mini systematic theology to kind of let you know essentially basic doctrine and basic understanding. It has a little section on ethics here. And you'll recognize some of these things also in the main full study Bible. Once you get past the ethics section, you're going to have your glossary, which gives you a definition of the words, and then you're going to have a concordance. This is a three column concordance, very, very small font. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'd probably put that as a five or less. But again, you still have your margins. So really what I wish they would have done in the concordance is go ahead and make that a little bit bigger and get rid of the margins because I don't know who's going to be taking notes. I'm sure somebody watching is going to say, I do, but normally that's not something that you're going to see. And then once you get past that, you have the colophon, you have your maps, and then we close it out again with this liner. This is a sewn binding, of course, all the extras that make this thing durable and sturdy, and the spine work, pretty slick. You have the ESV journaling study Bible embossed in there and antique. They do the same thing along the edge here. 
to give it that nice antique look. And one thing I did notice is the strap seems just a little shy on this because you should be able to go all the way around and tie it here like you can on this one. Because this one, when you close it, wrap strap around, you can go all the way around and then you can kind of tie it over. So I don't know what happened there. I don't know if that's something that's just normal, but what I do is just kind of tuck it in. It does come with instructions on how to install this strap. It does not come pre-installed. It does come with one yeah, decent ribbon. I'd like to see a couple more nice ribbons in there, a little bit thicker, but this isn't a too bad a ribbon. It is single-sided. As you can see, it's shiny on one side and it's flat on the other. I'd like to see the ribbons double-sided. It does come in a nice little clamshell box. It kind of matches the theme. So this is an excellent addition. It is not gilded. The pages are raw on the edge. So that's something you want to keep in mind as well because this is designed to kind of be able to be beat around. It's also easy to scuff and scratch as you can see like right there. So if that's something you don't like, this is not going to be the Bible for you. And that will eventually wear in and kind of be unique to you. So it really depends on your preferences on what kind of leather that you get. This is a nice addition. Just know its limitations and know the things that it does well and it doesn't do well. It's a smaller font. It doesn't have any little extras like the gilding. The margins are really wide, but they are lined. And also this text is not line matched. So that's something you want to keep in mind as well. God bless you. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your Nicholas Worth.